everybody, welcome back. I'll get started right away. Okay, so first two cycles and then right away we want a cycle break and this is a type, I think what I call it a type two cycle break, um, where maybe I should call it a type one, I don't know, where you have your buffer and it's like flipped or whatever. And, um, and you have to break somewhere on the first target. So what I always say is to look for color patterns. And this is, this is a pretty good color pattern because you know this will just go here. That's a good comm. And we end with a slightly less good comm, but there's some interesting stuff you can do. Um, and so we'll do that. Anyway, edges, so no parity, um, no swap. We have to break somewhere here. Um, and usually here, I think something good is here, but uh, that's not available because we already did it. So, I mean, we could go here. Um, maybe another option would be up here, but uh, I think UL would probably be good here. Um, also, maybe LF. Let's go UL. Oh, and then this gets solved. And we have a flipped. Okay, this is, this is actually interesting. And we have our flip buffer, and not a big fan of like the pieces that are left. So we're going to float even with our flip buffer. And by the way, we know it's flipped because we put it in here flipped and we come back to ooh, the same sticker. So it's flipped. Uh, and then we'll go here um, and sort of just put on the blindfold now because we know we have this, we have this, this one F, this flip. We have two E prime and then a pure two E at the end. So we can improvise something good. Oh, and this even gets more interesting. So let's do this right away. I'm doing UB, I'm going here, 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 right? And then the thing is, when you're floating flip cycles, you don't have to leave the buffer flipped. You could also leave something else flipped by intentionally shooting to the wrong target. So we're going to intentionally do this here. And so that's going to solve, that's going to have UB solve, but we're going to leave uh, DR flipped. So that way we force uh, faster comms, right? And then we could we have the option after to break into this or to, to do some piece of value. So to reiterate, basically when you have a flip thing and you're floating, you can force any of the pieces to be flipped. You can force a four flip, but that's rarely good. Um, and so, yeah, keep that in mind. And we're going to go into this. Still haven't learned a proper column for this, but uh, please don't judge me. Um, here we have, right? And uh, let's just, let's do this with, uh, like that, because I wasn't a big fan of the other options that were available. We could have gone here and then here, here, but that's kind of trash. Here, here, with like that annoying, like, are you spam, and then going here to here. I didn't like that. So sometimes um, you don't always have to break into the flip. Yeah, it is better a lot of the time, but sometimes it's just not. And so there, um, I mean, I don't know, I wouldn't, I didn't time this a million times, but I feel like. Uh, that that just felt faster. So yeah, corners. All right, and then um, I don't know if I'd see this. Usually I see it the other way, but we could do an alternate column for this to grip cancel into the last out. We can do that. So this one you could go like this, and then R prime, or you could go R two U. Right, um, and usually I see. Let's say this was inverse. For some reason and i went here here and then um there there or you know whatever something like that i would start out in this grip then i'd be able to see it this is a bit harder to see you have to look ahead but uh for the sake of demonstration let's do that so there you grip cancel and that, that's pretty nice next solve float um I know a lot of people go UBR, I go UBL, and to be honest, doesn't make that much of a difference. So I'll go here, here, and then here, here. Let's see what the UBR columns would have been. UBR columns would have been better, but that's one example. Okay, anyway, we go there, right? So uh, we have, you know, one UFR column and two UBL columns, and so also no parity again. So we're going to go into tracing. I'm just doing UF here. This this is super standard solve. Um, unfortunately, there's not much to talk about, but maybe we can talk about something exec. So let's do the flip first, actually. Doing flips first is probably good because you just get it out of the way. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, 
that was kind of standard. Here we're gonna cancel, and then this column like that. Yeah, that was that was like a super sort of pure type of solve. Um, make sure on these. I know a lot of people either don't double click or do some four three thing. Yeah, that works, but if you have time, honestly, just sit down all day and do this calm or um, you know something similar to really learn that righty double click. And if you don't double click e twos with your left hand in the first place, I would also do that. Um, I know a lot of people cope and just never do that for some reason, but. Like at this point, D2 is like almost just as fast as D. Same thing with U2. U2 and U is like same speed. And so to be able to have that power, and it comes in handy in so many different places, to be able to do D2 with either hand, like that calm, right? Yeah, you could do something like this, but it's just slow, right? Or you could do like a, a weird thing like that, but it's not that much work. Just spend a day and like watch TV and keep doing that calm. Or have that sort of as your warm up. I know to do B twos. I always did this calm before solve, um, just because you know instead of doing J for a million times, which, which I'm already already pretty good at, you could just do this and like practice something new. And so yeah, I suggest I suggest uh, everybody to go learn righty and lefty double clicks. Ideally, um, pinky ring, ring pinky is kind of weird. I don't know why you do that. Um, so here we have a type two cycle break right away, and uh, here this is this is perfect example of what you want to avoid, um, because then, I mean this this doesn't that's not the worst calm there, but I feel like just out of feeling maybe we should go here, um, or even here here would be better. Uh, I think in a solve I, I might go here, but let's go here instead. Uh, so here there right, and then here 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 and there back to there. So I'll get no parity. I don't know what it is with the boring souls today, but let's say if we went here, would it force? Oh no, if we went there, that would have been a lot worse comms. But you can never see into the future with cycle breaks, so it's better to force something fast right away. Uh, and I think this is the right, this is the good option here. And then in corners, cycle break here, that's pretty obvious. Continuing, uh, put on the blindfold here, we have a 2e prime. Um, 2e prime, wait, hold up, hold up. Yeah, 2e, two 2e, two, two e, two e prime, 1f. And so let's improvise all of that. So we have these, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, I don't have any letter pairs assigned, but I remember what it looks like visually, and I can figure out what to do. So right away, I'm kind of, I have a feeling to do this comp, and that will lead, since I thought this sticker was green when I'm putting on the blindfold, I know this will be red, obviously. So then we'll have this as our, as our next target. Um, and now we can either go here and flip it with an alloc or go there and go there. So I'm going to do this. You could argue that going here and then there and there is faster, but it's about the same speed. And my logic behind that is like, this is a fast calm. And then that's, it feels slow, but it's only eight moves. So it's, it's not bad. Okay. Now, sorry, I'm going to play faster with these because they should be common knowledge. Um, for this one, I go like this, and okay, another example of alternate calm. Often I'll do this, which is ridiculous, right? But you can also do this, um, and so our last two comms are like that. Hold up. Uh, okay. Yeah, these are our last two comms, so like that, and then you can even cancel move by doing the alternate, and cancel grip, obviously. Uh, okay, that was kind of, those were quite boring solves, but uh, I knew I knew the day would come where these, or the week would come where the, the solves are boring, and there's still a couple things to talk about, so that's good. And also, it makes my job a bit easier, um, not having to talk for 20 minutes about a bunch of random stuff, so <laughs> hope you enjoyed, I'll be back next week, and um, it should be, a bit more interesting then.